guys, how's it going? So I know it's been a while since I made a video, especially one sitting on my bed, um, but I did want to make a video talking about my Sylvanas cosplay and kind of giving an update and everything just as kind of like a, hey, this is what I'm doing if you didn't know, and also for anyone who's maybe wanting to do a Sylvanas cosplay and wants like not a tutorial, but just kind of tips and like stuff that you need to do it and how I've been doing it and just kind of like, you know, just talking about my Sylvanas cosplay and everything. Um, so first of all, I did want to say I have like never ever really attempted cosplay at all. Um, the most thing that I've ever done, which doesn't even count as a cosplay, is I went as like a <laughs> shiny Umbreon to a convention like a few years ago and I have a video on my channel. I'll link it down below if you want to see it and it was literally just me wearing like some some ears and some blue and black stuff and it was not even qualified as cosplay. So this is my first ever attempt at doing this. Um, I've wanted to cosplay Sylvanas for as long as I've known who she is at all and as long as I've known what cosplay is but it's always just been one of those things where I'm like yeah I'd love to do it but I obviously could never figure it out or be capable of doing it. So in the back of my mind I've always been like oh maybe one day I'll just like buy a Sylvanas cosplay, like get someone else to make it and just buy it. But you know what, I just got to a point where I was like, you know what, I just gotta do it myself, I'm gonna figure it out even though I should probably have maybe practiced with like other things that are simpler than her before trying to indulge into this because is dulge a word? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I basically just went for it. It's obviously not that great. Um, I still have a lot of work to do, but I do have like a few things done, like I have two shoulders kind of like 60% done, like we're getting there. Uh, the chest piece, kind of same thing, like sort of there. Uh, I've started on one of the gloves, I've kind of started on my uh, cape, not my cape, my cloak with my hood and everything, so I just wanted to show you guys what I have so far and kind of explain how I did it, um, because I am a total cosplay noob, so if you are also a cosplay noob and literally don't even know anything, then you can probably, if I can do it, you can do it, because I'm like the worst person to do this. So I guess I'm going to start off by, obviously you can see some of the stuff here, I'll actually show you, because this was the first thing I did, I'll show you in order of what I have done. So this is one of the shoulders. As you can see, um, it's pretty good. This shoulder is much better than the other shoulder. Um, I have to fix this one. I've been kind of working on trying to fix it, but it's still really bad. So as you can see, there's like a seam here because basically when you do cosplay stuff, you like take two pieces of foam and like put them together. Um, I'll explain that in a bit, but it's really hard to get your seams perfect, especially with the type of foam that I'm working with is very very thick so yeah um this is what this shoulder looks like it's pretty cool this one's a lot better as you can see this one has a gaping seam in it that i still have to paint over slash also try to fix the seam so it's not as bad um, but these are the two shoulders this one looks kind of bigger than this one i don't know if you can see that but it's like more not uh rounded properly but it's still mostly kind of sort of there. <laughs> I don't even know. These are my shoulders. I have no idea how to go about like affixing them to me. I think some people use like velcro or like straps and buckles. I don't really know. I haven't gotten that far but yeah so basically these were the first two things I started with. The thing that made me able to even begin any of this I was able to find um, this pattern online for like the shoulders. I managed to find it for free. I don't know if that was just like a random promo thing that I happened to stumble across but it's by, I think it's something like Jackie Cosplay. I'll try to link it down below. But I found the pattern for her shoulders. So it's basically, um, you print it out and it's like the two, you like cut out two of each of them and then you can like uh, trace it onto some foam and then you can cut it out with an X-Acto knife and you just kind of merge the two pieces together essentially. So if this was foam, you would like kind of attach them. I don't know how to explain this, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's really not that hard. Like, I never even knew that, like, this was how you ended up making cosplays was out of, like, patterns and stuff. So I would highly, highly suggest if you don't know what you're doing to find patterns online so you don't have to worry about making them yourself and screwing up. I mean, like, you totally can do them yourself, but I have found that very, very difficult. So there's this part of the pattern, and then there was also this part as well, which is, like, the part that's down over here basically so you just put that onto some foam cut it out and then you have to use contact cement 
which is basically a really really heavy duty glue that like you put a thin layer on both sides that you want to connect you kind of let it sit for a bit to get tacky kind of like you would wait for your false eyelashes to put them on but totally different and then you just like push them together really firmly and yeah but it's really hard like I said I'm using a very thick foam for these pieces of armor because they obviously need to be really sturdy um so it makes it really hard to put them together obviously um it would be easier if you use thinner foam and then put like warbler over top of it but I did not want to buy warbler because I just didn't know how to use it and I feel like it's too expensive and for me like to buy it and maybe screw it up and waste it I just didn't want to so I'm using this contact cement it's like spilt all over the side so it's really gross and I have to like cut it with scissors to get through this glue because it's like glued shut um, but it's this brand uh, Lee Page contact cement low order low odor um, it does work pretty well I don't know if there's something better but it does the job for what I need it to do. Um, I usually just pour a little bit out onto some kind of like surface that I don't care about. Um, even like sometimes just old scraps of foam I'll just pour a little bit and then I use like a brush or a piece of foam to kind of brush it on to whatever two pieces I need to attach and then yeah so you do that. So that is um, there's the one half here and the one half here that I put together and these are the bottom halves down here. Um, put them together make sure that they are stuck nice and then you can go ahead and like prime it and paint it and all that stuff um the detailing I just use like foam to kind of like go around and make like the edging and stuff which is pretty cool I think it's pretty sick um I'm sorry I'm rambling I don't really know what I'm talking about and this don't treat this as a tutorial I'm just telling you what I did um, for the breastplate, I didn't use like an actual pattern online or anything. I did the thing, if you look up like tutorial for cosplay breastplate, breastplate um, you can find like a video where you basically saran wrap your upper torso and then you like tape over it and then you can kind of draw out the general like pattern of what you need. Then you cut it off of yourself and then you can like cut out the pattern that you drew on yourself and put that on the foam essentially. I know that sounds really crazy if you have no idea, but there's a video about it. So this is what I ended up with and I have done all of this stuff with just like pieces of foam and I also glued a bra. I literally hot glued a bra on the inside of this because I thought it would be the easiest way because then I can just use like the, the clasps on the bra to like attach it and then that way I also have like straps to hold it up too. So I found that was a very, very uh, practical way to go about putting it on and everything. So yeah, that's super good. Um, but obviously, it is not perfect. It doesn't look like like metal armor. Like you can clearly tell that it's foam. So obviously, sometime in the future, maybe in like a couple years, when I practice more, I will like redo my Solana's cosplay and like make it actually like nice. This is very clearly an amateur version, but I'm still pretty proud of myself that I managed to do this and. I think it's pretty cool. Um, obviously I still have a lot of details to do. I have to fix the paint job. I have to like add more stuff to it. I have to put a gem here. Um, I bought, um, I have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail like um, molds and stuff to make like resin. I think that that's what it's called like gems and stuff. Um, like for example um, on here uh, I have to make like kind of an oval shaped gem so I ordered some molds to make those and everything and I bought a resin making kit and stuff so yeah to like cast stuff I've, I'm, I don't know I've never tried any, any of this so I think it's really 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 interesting so this is my one glove thing it's kind of cool um, again I need to figure out strapping because right now this is just like very open and not functional I need to somehow like close this with some straps so that it fits nice and tightly around my arm but it's still pretty cool kind of sorta um this is again um I ended up so like I was saying the shoulder pattern I just managed to find online for free but then I found um a pattern on Etsy which was from the same person like Jackie Cosplay Crafts or something but I had to pay for this it was like I think five dollars or something and you just download it and print it and it comes with this one this one this one and this thing as well for the details and you do the same thing where you put it onto foam and everything and put everything together and then you end up with this at the end. Um, for the gloves here um, I used thinner foam because 
it was I didn't need it to be like as thick and sturdy as like the shoulders were so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the different kinds of foam that I'm using so I have this foam which is basically the foam that you see that you like would put on a floor as like a nice surface for you to walk on so it's very very thick it's probably like half half an inch thick it's really hard to work with um, in terms of cutting through it with an exacto knife is like a lot of <laughs> work it takes a long time and then gluing them together is really difficult but the end result is very sturdy and makes it so you don't really need like warbler in my opinion I don't think you do um, so yeah that's what I've been using for like the more heavy duty kinds of pieces um, so that's been pretty good and then I also have this thickness of foam which is probably like five millimeters I would guess I'm not 100% sure um, but that's what I did the gloves out of so that it was like decently sturdy but not like super hard to work with and then I also have I just have like scraps but then I also have this super thin like craft foam that you typically can find like anywhere like kind of a dollar store type craft foam but I bought like most of the stuff I got from Michaels I got like the thicker foam from Walmart um, and all that type of stuff so yeah uh, for cosplay you basically need a bunch of foam patterns glue and all that type of stuff. Um, I also do use a hot glue gun for things like the details on stuff. Like for example, when I did um, all of this edging around here, I used a hot glue gun to affix all of that. Um, and then I also did kind of sort of a make a cloak thing. It's not that good. I don't know how to sew, so I literally hot glued it. So I have to obviously like fix stuff because you can just see like where I hot glued things. But let me put on my hood it's kind of cool I think it, it kind of sort of functions and then the idea is that I will kind of tuck these underneath of the shoulders like like this so that the hood sits nice and like yeah so that's that's that um, I should put my camera somewhere else so I can actually show you this better maybe maybe kind of sort of let me so I don't know if you guys can see this maybe um, this is what my cloak thing kind of looks like. I'm sorry my legs are weird. I'm just chilling but yeah I don't know it's like it's something. I feel like considering I have no idea what I'm doing we're kind of sort of making a little bit of progress so it's cool. I feel like the lighting is really weird here and I do apologize for that. <laughs> Camera angle is different now. I was moving it around and stuff but yeah that's pretty much like everything that I have so far. So I have like the two shoulders, one glove, the chest, um, and my cloak and then I also use in terms of paints and stuff I did buy like a purple spray paint but it wasn't like the right shade and it was like way too sheer like it didn't go on thick enough so I ended up buying like some acrylic paints and that's what I've been using so I have um, I bought a black one just so I could maybe use it for like shading and stuff I haven't really used it yet um, I kind of tried to put some black shading but I don't know what I'm doing but you can kind of see there's like black in the corners here I'm gonna fix it because it looks like garbage but I just bought that as kind of like a mixing color to add depth or something um, then I'm using this purple color it's by Craftsmart acrylic paint uh, regal purple and I think it's a very very nice perfect Sylvanas purple color and then I also have this um, metallic silver color I got this from Walmart it's actually not that good I want to go buy a different uh, silver the same brand as this Craftsmart. These ones are from Michaels. This is from Walmart. This one's not very good But um, that's what I'm using uh, before I paint it. I have um, I bought a can of like Plasti Dip as like a spray paint uh, Thing that you basically put you spray it like all over you let it sit for a bit to dry And then you do like another coat and it kind of makes it like more Hard so that you don't really feel it like as foam material. It's more kind of like a plastic but not really um, and then I also have a thing of black primer spray paint, so I'll do like two layers of Plasti Tip and then some black primer paint and then I paint it the color. Um, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I've been doing and I think it's kind of working okay. So yeah, so that's what we have so far. And then also um, another thing, I do have this really cool uh, choker necklace that my boyfriend's mom actually found for me at a garage sale for $2 and it just so happens to work pretty well as like Solanus's uh, chainmail choker thing. Um, I just have to add some like foam around the like border of it to kind of um, just add some more details and whatnot to it but it's pretty cool it's pretty on point um, so that is also part of my cosplay and then this is something I got in the mail yesterday that I ordered um, it is the skull mold for me to make like the resin stuff out of so 
I'm really excited to do that because I have not ever made anything like out of a mold, but basically I'm going to have one skull here, one in the middle, and then one over here, and then I also have to add like the spikes onto this as well, and I'm hoping that between the spikes and the skulls I can kind of sort of cover up the seam so you won't be able to see it as much, but yeah, also this is what the inside look lo looks like. It's pretty gnarly, um, thank god no one gets to see that, but yeah, um, sorry for rambling and stuff, but this is basically the gist of everything that I have so far and my cloak is over here to the side, so I don't know if this was helpful or interesting at all. I just kind of wanted to do something to just be like, hey, check it out if you like Solanus or something and you want to do cosplay stuff. I, I feel like I just repeat the same things all the time and I apologize. So. I'm gonna go now. Um, I will try to keep you guys updated on everything. Um, I have most of my updates on Instagram, but I'll try to make like YouTube videos as I progress in making my cosplay. Um, I plan to go to Fan Expo in Toronto, which I think is like August 27th or something, maybe. Um, I hope it's not. It. I don't know if I'm just thinking of the WoW Classic release date, because I'm pretty sure WoW Classic comes out on August 27th, so if that's also when Fan Expo is, that's going to suck, because I really just want to play WoW Classic, but either way, I plan to go on whatever the Saturday day is of Fan Expo, so if you live in the Toronto area and if you're going, let me know, because I'd probably love to meet you and take pictures with you, so yeah, so... Um, anyways, that is my little Sylvanas update, and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good day. If you have any questions at all down below, please let me know, and I will try my best to answer, or if I don't know the answer, I'll try my best to find the answer to help you out. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!